Welcome everybody. Tonight's episode will have you hitting the sauce. The caramel sauce that is. Oh yeah. I went there. I said that. You're welcome. Anyways, this is an excellent sauce. I use scotch wort because I am one classy individual. I do like my single malt. And you should too. If you're not classy, then you probably use rum. I'm sure that would turn out. Or use bourbon, I guess, if you're a redneck white trash. Something like that. But single malt scotch, because you're classy. A few simple ingredients. Sugar, a little butter, and scotch. I love scotch. I love scotch. Scotch is scotch scotch. Here it goes down. Down into my belly. Mm -mm -mm. Start the procedure with a pan over medium heat. I add a cup of sugar to it. And I shake it like a Polaroid picture. There you go. Now in your choice of pans, I prefer metal. It, after much uh, research, experimentation, and mathematical computations, the thermodynamic properties are far superior than that of uh, wood or stone. I have my scotch waiting. We wait around and once the sugar starts to melt around the edges and turns liquid, we go and fork it. It, it likes a good forking, so give it all you got. Just keep forking. Uh, it's it is kind of a forking mess, but in the end, it will all be good. Trust me. So just wait until you have a good even consistency and you get a deep caramel color, because this is caramel sauce, so it should be caramel colored. Now, for safety's sake, I add butter first. I could go into this, but it would be a very long episode. So add your butter and uh, mix it around until it's all melted. What you're really doing is helping to cool that down because you have alcohol you're adding to it, and alcohol has a low flash point. That means it's going to steam and sugar syrup could fly and hit you in the eye and stick to it and burn a hole and pain and ow. That probably will not happen. You can wear safety glasses if you want to, but this isn't quite as dangerous as I'm making it sound. Yes. But be careful, add, add your liquid very slowly. And then it's kind of a mess, but you keep forking away. I know you, even if it's ugly, you keep forking it, but add a pinch of salt, stir it, and stir it. Once it gets a good, even consistency, then we can put it in a bowl with some wax paper this will help a lot with uh, stickage. Pour that in there, and then as soon as you can, clean that pan. And I know that rhymes, but it will save a big mess. But this sauce is very excellent. Try it on ice cream, put it in coffee, or find my recipe for chocolate caramel coffee pie and make that. It is a uh, very good sauce. I hope you learned something. Have a good one. Enjoy. Adios. Cheers.